Hey, what's up you guys? Today we're gonna to show you how to install Kurt trailer hitch number 13201. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. All right, so here we have our trailer hitch that we'll, we will be installing. Uh, it has three connection points on each side and we'll connect with carriage bolts. So let's go ahead and get our car prepped. All right, on the driver's side, we'll go ahead and show you those attachment holes for your hitch. It will be this one right here and this one right here on the bottom of your frame rail and this one right up here closer to your bumper. On the passenger side we cannot gain access to those attachment holes because we have the exhaust in the way so right before lowering our exhaust we're going to go ahead and take a ratchet strap and we're just going to secure our exhaust. Now we'll go ahead and lower our exhaust. All right, so there's three rubber hangers that we'll be removing. We have one right here along the frame rail. There's one on the other side, exactly on the other side of the frame rail. And we have one down here, further down the exhaust. All right, we're gonna go ahead and spray those with some soapy water. And we're gonna use our pry bar since our exhaust removal pliers do not fit in there. We're just going to spray it with some soapy water and remove it using our exhaust removal pliers. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and line up our hitch with our attachment holes now that our exhaust has been lowered. But before we do that, our kit includes this wedge spacer that we will be taping into our, our attachment hole. Now this rearmost attachment hole, since the frame on the vehicle is slanted, we're gonna go ahead and tape this on so it stays into place while we raise it up. So let's go ahead and do that. Now with our wedge spacers in place, we'll go ahead and line it up with our attachment holes. So we're gonna go ahead and take our fish wire and we're gonna run it through our rearmost attachment hole. And it's gonna come out the side right here and this will be our access hole. There we go. Carriage bolt and block. And we'll attach it to the fish wire. And then we'll pull it into position. And we'll throw our block in first. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. All right, now we'll take our large carriage bolt and we'll go ahead and put it into our passenger side. Go ahead. All right, now that we have those rearward bolts in, we're going to remove our fish wires. Our kit only gives us two, so we'll be removing those and putting our flange nuts on there. And we'll repeat the same on the driver's side. And now we'll take our two carriage bolts with the smaller blocks and put them in our other two remaining holes on each side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and feed our fish wire through our other rear hole and it will come out through this square right here.
and then we'll do it on our remaining hole. Now we'll remove our fish wires and put the flange nuts on. All right, I'm over here on the passenger side and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. All right, now we're gonna remove our fish wires and put our flange nuts on. All right, we went ahead and removed our hitch jack and we're gonna go ahead and tighten up our bolts using our torque wrench and we're going, to use a, we're going to be using a three quarter socket with a five inch extension. And let's go ahead and torque that according to the manufacturer's specifications. Repeat on the passenger side. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put our exhaust back up now that our bolts are all tightened up. So you'll just line up those tabs on the hangers. And there's not a lot of room to put your arm in, but you just gotta feel around and get it. All right, now that we got those two in there, we'll pop over to the last one. Now that we got that in, we'll take our strap off. And let's pull it down on level ground for some measurements. All right guys, a couple measurements for your towing accessories. This is a two inch receiver and from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 12 and a quarter inches. And from the pinhole out to the bumper is three and a half inches. That way you know what type of ball mount that you'll need or any vertical post for any bike rack or other towing accessory. All right guys, so that concludes our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions on this product or any other products, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.